positive school culture and address the achievement gap and deal with high risk kids. It comes down to one thing, pretty much relationships. Right? When I talk to kids a lot, I ask them about who, tell me about your favorite teacher. Every school I go to, I say, just tell me about your favorite teacher. Almost always they say, someone who cares about me. Right? Someone who's funny. Right? They, don't um, they don't say the easy teachers. Right? They say people who care about us, people who know us as a person, people who get to know me as an individual. I, I used to work with some really emotional teacher adolescents and broken, so I, I know kids who have mental health issues. And for me, it was critically important to stand in front of the door before they walked in to check in with each of them. You know, hey, how are you doing? Right? I knew Monday morning, I had to be very attuned to each of them, and I knew Friday afternoons I had to be very attuned to each of them. I knew that doing lunch duty was a great way to have an impact in the classroom because during lunch I could have a conversation with my kids and see where they were because their behaviors were such that they were acting out in pretty severe ways. But the fact is that every teacher is doing that and every adult in the building takes responsibility for social emotional being kids and just ask kids how they're doing on a regular basis. You learn a lot, right? How do they respond? Do they look at you with their eyes down or say, fine, right? Do they sort of throw their backpack down and walk into the room? Or do they treat with a smile and point to other kids who can really Attend to the kid who may have um, who who may have something going on in their lives that could be a trigger later on. Right? It's rare that I ever saw a kid act out in one way that you could have been tracing back to something that happened earlier in the day and one of us had missed. So part of what we're doing right now is raising the awareness about the need to promote social emotional learning in our schools, and it is not a program. Right? You don't change the culture by memo, you don't eliminate bullying by assembly. Assemblies are important, right? but you don't, you don't create um, public school climate simply by talking about it. You actually have to change what people do on a daily basis. So we're starting to do it, we're starting to train in ways where We're also starting to measure. So we're, me we're now measuring um, teacher engagement, and we're also measuring student engagement. Um, we're measuring well-being and health, because we want to know if our kids are engaged. We want to know if they feel connected to the school. We also want to know if our adults feel engaged. Because if adults are engaged, kids are engaged, right? So we're actually measuring that by school so that we can understand um, how our kids are feeling about the schools that they're in. 